Hi, this is uh, Daniel Thomas Sandra Daly, Danny Daly. Um, this is Torah Prophecies Series 2, number 14. Torah Prophecies Series 2, number 14. Now, um, the Spirit of God speaks to me. Not God, but through His Spirit, and that's... Um, It's a diverse sort of thing, the way the Spirit talks, the Spirit of God talks. And uh, hints at ideas and uh, doesn't necessarily want to give you a full picture. God doesn't, God might hint at things with this and that idea, uh, perspectives on things. He doesn't necessarily want to give you the full picture when he talks to you. He just throws ideas at you a lot of the time. It's not necessarily saying they're true, it's just that they're ideas. I think it's what he's doing. It's it's like it's a test case. He's just throwing ideas at you and wanting to see whether these things are valid. And what happened with the prophets, the biblical prophets, is that he threw ideas at them. With Isaiah and Jeremiah and Ezekiel and so forth, he threw ideas at them and suggestions and ideas, and they ran off and they prophesied. And when God could fulfill those prophets' words, he did. And when it's not really realistic or not realistic until later on in history, he'll leave it be. But it's not really the word of God, Isaiah or Jeremiah or Ezekiel, but more of teaching which comes from the Holy Spirit. It's um, impulse. There are impulses of God's Spirit at work in the prophets. And... Uh, Sometimes they they don't quite fulfill perfectly. We saw in Torah Prophecies 13 that the uh, this Messianic Redeemer of Isaiah 11 didn't really show up. But we see Zerubbabel doing things in relation to that. And, um, but it's not really fulfilled quintessentially perfectly in a perfect prophetic fulfillment. Because there are ideas of what God's driving at and suggestions and is this a good idea? God might be asking the prophet. The prophet might not even know that God's asking, is it a good idea? But it's like a test case. It's testing the water and seeing what works. Isaiah wrote out a long prophecy. And uh, Daniel the prophet wrote out a number of prophecies. And they're fulfilled to a degree. And um, I think it's probably a work in progress. And as God gets around to fulfilling his word gradually... He'll prob probably will actually take care of the issues and honor the Tanakh in time. It will probably be fulfilled. It's not the literal word of God and the divine dictated technical plan in a very technical sense in every detail, perfectly fulfilled in perfect living harmony because humans have choice and we sin and we don't always do it God's way. So he tests the waters and works in reality where it's messy. Life is messy. The Bible's got messy bits. But he'll I think he'll probably take care of it in time and fulfill his word. So in a technical absolutist prophet, prophetical sense, no, it, it, it can fall apart in places. But roughly, like the prophecies of Daniel, up to chapter 11, they're roughly fulfilled. They're not, he's an approximate sort of God. He generally got the job sort of done. He doesn't work to a, a, an exact time frame. He's just working with the prophet as prophet's ideas and getting the job done gradually. So the word of God doesn't work according to exact, to the second, to the minute, to the day ideas. It's sort of a plan. That's how it works. And I think in this sense, we're probably getting towards a world to come in the end. But there's probably a resurrection of the dead and a life of the world to come for the future of people. Why, in the end, should we believe that we were having a resurrection of the dead? I think probably, in the end, my strongest argument is that Earth is probably humankind's natural habitat. We're probably not based on being people in heaven. I think Earth is our natural habitat. And that's probably the destiny of humans who are righteous enough to live forever on Earth. Um, we know what Earth is, we live on Earth, we're used to it, we're born on it, it's where we start, 
and I think that's our natural habitat and God's not trying to um, surprise us with anything new in our overall destiny. It's probably earth where we spend eternity so when we serve for the world to come if we're doing it correctly enough we should inherit it. So it's approximations of the word of God and getting it done as he can get it done. It's messy but that's the way it probably actually really is. There you go. Torah Prophecy Series 2 Number 14, I'm Danny Daly. Cheers. Take care, everybody.